Okay, cool. Well, let's do a quick readout on the game here. So this is LMV Edison by Kill the Alias. Um, and the readout says, uh, You are lost in space. Your vessel was destroyed and the rest of the crew killed. Okay. Um, your only hope for survival is an abandoned ancient mining vessel called the LMV Edison. Your only way home is to restore it to working order set it on and set it on course for Earth. Good luck, Commander. Ignore people dropping stuff in my room there. Somebody was looking over my shoulder. Commander, it appears you are stranded on the derelict mining vessel of the LMV Edison. The scans indicate that the ship was abandoned over 1,000 years ago. In order to get home to the solar system, you are going to have to activate the disabled warp drive on the port side. Then, access the ship's main computer to set a new heading home. Good luck. Well, um, we've repaired the warp drive. Do we win now? Okay. Press E to use the ship's computer. Oh. Help. Okay. Let's look at the ship's status. Power grid online. Mining systems, unknown error, and communications, unknown error. Gravitational field generators online. Okay, so mostly everything is online. This game actually looks really good, by the way, guys. Um, <laughs> I kept feeling like something was going to leap out at me. But I was like, wait, there's no combat system. Why would that work? So let's do some exploration. Uh, some, some text exploration. So, the LMV Edison. Uh, system Ops, main interface. Ooh. Deployed. Uh, November 18th, 2232. Date is August the 18th, two, uh, 3245. Yeah, so, um, I, I haven't mentioned this yet, but the, uh, the theme of this is, uh, ancient technology, and the idea is that this is an ancient ship, in this case. A lot of people actually didn't go with the more obvious ancient technology being, you know, cudgels and hitting stuff as a caveman. Uh, in a lot of cases people have gone, yeah, we're in the future and you're using some insanely obsolete... Uh, technology, which is still futuristic, but um, we're not going to crash into something if I don't change all of this uh, real quick, are we? Uh, uh, Earth. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. Ah. So do we go like this? Sweet. Um. Online. Further information unavailable. Okay. So, uh, this is currently... I guess command console simulator. It's reactor status. It said it was online, didn't it? Oh. Oh. A nice toasty 75 degrees Celsius. What else can we do? Engine status is online. Oh, we're not moving. Well, can we change that? Uh, our mining laser doesn't work. Uh, uh, particle beam control menu. Oh, it would help if I actually typed in the right thing. It's offline. Okay. What else can we do? Oh. 
Engage. Congratulations, Commander. You're on your way home. Thanks for playing this shit. <laughs> well... <laughs> I mean, I really like the atmosphere, actually. I feel like, just simply with with the lighting, this has... Th th this could be turned into, you know, like a, a space exploration kind of horror game with some low-poly graphics, just kind of focusing on jump scares, because the atmosphere is right. I really, I really like the lighting. I mean, and also like the sound effects. Just the creaking. And your feet tapping against the ground. I complete another lack of any sort of music. Yeah. I really like, I like the atmosphere, if nothing else. And I mean console also looks good. Oh. There we go. Because, I mean, I assume if we did this, it wouldn't work. We'll, we'll just try uh, everything out. Uh, ah. I'm bad. Yep. Uh, out of interest. If we went to... Uh, would it throw an error? Ah. Invalid destination, there we go. Okay. Well. There we go, we're through. <laughs> through one game, that was quick. I will, uh, I'll send the creator of this game an email just to show them that I played it. If nothing else, the atmosphere is good. Also, one thing we'll do quickly is I'm gonna try boot the game up in windowed and uh, full screen mode. Ignore that something went wrong. Nothing's gone wrong. And we we shall try see if we can if I can get through the whole game without any sort of freezing. Commander, it appears you are stranded oh, on the derelict mining vessel of the LMV Edison. This one. Scans indicate ah, that the well, ship was abandoned over 1,000 years ago. In order to get home to the solar system, you are going to have to activate the disabled warp drive on the port side. Then, access the ship's main computer to set a new heading home. Good luck. We'll just, we'll see if we can complete the game. I'm not sure why I froze before. Uh, it's entirely possible that that was entirely my, uh... My computer's fault, and um, what? What else? Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> awesome. Well, I guess the next one is uh, we're going to do yet again. Ignore something. We can even change this. There we go. We're back here. Artifact Hunter is the next game that uh, I was asked to play. Actually, the last game I was asked to play as well. Um, if I could type. Oh. There is a lot of everything in here. Where is any? Where's an executable? There it is. Alright, we actually have this open here, so what we shall do is we shall also, wow, there are a few comments here. Okay, Artifact Hunter. Um, in Artifact Hunter, you are hunting the ancient devices, known as artifacts, that give you special powers. Awesome. I love special powers. Uh, you must avoid various dangerous objects and collect shiny blue orbs to reveal the artifacts. You must also figure out ex exactly what the artifacts do. Please don't kill me. Um, this is new, this is, oh, there is new content in every level, so try to beat level one, 
uh, to try out the artifacts. This game may be this game may be really hard. If you don't like challenging games, then I don't recommend playing this. If someone even gets past three points on level three, please tell me. My record is seven points on level three. Please post your highest score, uh, e.g., level two with five points. Important uh, important note: head over to my website uh, website there for info on purchasable version I'm working on. I'll I add. Tons of artifacts, new dangerous things, a storyline, better music, an overall and an overall more polished game. The plan price is two to three dollars. Uh, I've been making games for four years, and I finally made a game I think I might sell. Uh, it was used uh, made with Python, uh, used Pi game for the display, uh, MS Paint for the art, <laughs> hyper advanced, uh, and music is Beatbox.co. All right, uh, edits. I forgot to mention that pressing R in game after dying restarts the game. That green bar on the top left is your stamina. For those of you who can't figure, couldn't figure it out, not your health. All right. That that's what you're getting for school, full screen. Uh, we don't have audio. Look at look at how big my cursor is. Okay. Oh, I got this. Ah. Okay. Hey! We got it. Ah, it's a guy. Wow. <laughs> oh, speaking of fast paced. <laughs> um. Mm hmm. You're right about it being hard. Bombs everywhere. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Well, let's let's try this again. I uh, I never actually tried out the artifacts. Oh, you see J, K, and L up in the corner. There? We'll get this this time. Where is J, K, and L? Okay, we've got this. Let's get an artifact. Oh, can we use it. Okay. Oh, you got to collect. I see. Alright guys, come on, we gotta collect one more. Oh, this is actually just made that much harder by the fact that... Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> yep, I got, I got R to restart. And here come the bombs. Oh, this is made just that much harder by the fact that you are always going down. Getting these ones at the top of the screen is hard. Oh, why you call it? I'm so bad. It's alright, we'll get this. Guys. We should get this. Oh, no, I don't think we're getting that one in time. I'm just gonna try one of these out. Alright, ah, come here. Hey! Let's try it. What did it do? What did it do, guys? Okay, we'll go again. We've got this. Alright. It doesn't help that I'm not very good at this style of game. Case, it's going to make it harder for me to play the game because I'm bad. 
Oh, and I hit a ball. Ah, uh, I want to get all these artifacts, guys. You know what? We'll keep trying for a little bit longer, then we'll go into another game. Oh, why is there two of them? Oh, we're not going to get those ones at the top of the screen. You just end up with a bomb straight on your head. I see what they mean by this game it might be a little bit... Wow. Got one shot. Do you just get one shot all the time? I haven't noticed. I thought I'd been hit by more bombs than that. Come here. I'm sorry if I go quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. I get hit by these bombs. No! That's what I didn't want to do. Alright, guys. We'll do it one more time. I'm gonna be getting. I just realized I'm gonna be getting Facebook notifications whilst I'm in desktop mode. I should watch out for that. Um, maybe I'll, I can't. Closing Facebook does nothing. Also, I don't know if that's a bug or not, but sometimes the bomb blows up on my head and it doesn't kill me. So, so I'm not quite sure what that's about. See? Like that one there. It makes me kind of wonder how this uh, dying mechanic works. See, there we go. That one killed me. Hmm. It seems that if you're moving through the bombs sideways, they don't kill you all the time. Right. I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to take, take advantage of that. But if I were, then that'd be good to know. Alright guys. I mean, if people are getting sick of a game, by the way, uh, just make sure to tell me and I'll, I'll go on to the next one. Because, I mean, I, I don't want to get too good on See? That time the bomb didn't kill me. So I'm not quite sure why. Ah! <laughs> I don't think we're going to get to the next one, guys. Alright, well, we're going to leave this one here. I am going to, uh... I'm going to close this off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed any of those games, feel free to go and play them on, uh, well, links for that will be in the description. I apologize for the fact that I was kind of ground out in the, uh, the second game there. It was really loud and I, uh, didn't balance the audio out. Anyway guys, I, uh, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you.